Hi everyone, I'm Whitney and I post sewing and crafting tutorials here on YouTube. Some of you may remember this purse I showed in a video last year that I made on a whim one day and a ton of you asked for the tutorial for it. So I've done my best to replicate that purse and do a tutorial for you all today. Um, I didn't actually like save the measurements from the original one so um, I kind of had to refigure everything out but it came out pretty closely. I did adapt a few things but uh, I hope you all like the tutorial for today. Now um, I decided to make mine a little bit differently in the fact that I used a lot of upcycled materials. So the outer fabric I used a white pair of jeans and like cut them up and pieced them together. I used a belt for the strap. I used a button up shirt for the lining and then for the flap I featured a piece from a vintage placemat. Now you don't have to do all that. Um, that was just something I wanted to do to make it different but um, you can definitely just cut out the measurements shown in the video out of just regular fabric and make your bag that way. For both of my bags I used Pellon's Ultra Firm Sew and Stabilizer and it worked perfectly for my first bag which I made out of the thin corduroy fabric but it was a little bit too thick for the denim bag which is what I'm showing today um, so I if I was doing it again I'd probably use a little bit of a thinner sew-in stabilizer um, but just do use your best judgment on the thickness of your fabric as opposed to um, the thickness of the stabilizer or interfacing that you decide to go with uh, but anyway with all that said let's get into the tutorial you will need an 11 by 15 inch piece from the outer fabric interfacing and lining fabric for the flap a piece 12 and a half by 18 inches for the outer and interfacing for the lower back piece. A piece three and a half by 18 from the outer and interfacing for the upper back. And two three and a half by 18 inch pieces of leather or pleather for the bottom covering. One piece 15 by 18 inches from the outer and interfacing for the front and two 15 by 18 inch from the lining. And lastly, you'll need an 11 by 10 inch piece for the pocket lining, a zipper at least 11 inches long, a clasp and D-ring, ribbon or fabric to attach the clasp, and something to use for your strap. Start by placing your stabilizer against the back side of your outer pieces. Sew around all the sides with a quarter inch seam allowance or less. Lay the upper back on the lower back piece, right sides together, and pin. Mark 4 inches in from each side so you have 10 inches in the center. Using a half inch seam allowance, sew to the first mark and back stitch. Then switch to a longer stitch length and sew to the next mark. Back stitch, go back to the shorter stitch length and sew to the end. Iron the seam open and center the zipper on it upside down. Pin the zipper in place. Sew so down the zipper, across the end, up the other side, and across the other end. Be very careful when sewing over the teeth at the ends. Trim off the excess, then use a seam ripper to unstitch the large stitches sewn where the zipper is now. Lay the pocket lining against the back of the piece as shown and pen in place. Sew around all four sides. I actually sewed around it twice for extra strength. You should now have a full back piece with a functioning pocket. Now grab the front and back and the leather pieces. 
Using E6000 or another sturdy glue, smear the glue on the leather and the material to attach the two together. The leather will make the bag extra sturdy and keep the bottom of your bag cleaner. By the way, my leather was cut from a thrifted jacket. Weigh down the leather to bond. While the glue is still wet, tuck in the D-ring attached to a ribbon. I also sewed it down just below the ring to hold it in place. Let the glue dry at least 12 hours. Now onto the flap. Use a roll of tape or a lid to draw a curve on the bottom two corners. Then attach a ribbon to the clasp and pin it to the center of the flap. Place on the lining right sides together and pin. Sew along the sides and bottom with a half inch seam allowance and following the curves at the corners. Trim the excess at the corners and snip the seam allowance, then turn right sides out. Iron flat, then top stitch all four sides. Next, place the front and back right sides together. Use clips to secure where there's leather and pens for the rest. Sew down the side, bottom, and other side to attach. It should look like this. Cut a small square out of the bottom two corners. Resituate the piece so the side seams and bottom seam line up. Clip the end and place a ruler where it measures 4 inches across the piece. Mark that line. Sew directly on the line, then trim the excess. Repeat with the lining, sewing the sides and bottom, then boxing the corners. Now to assemble the bag. Place the outer in the lining right sides together. Line up the top and side seams and pin. Then insert the flap so the lining side is against the lining side and the pretty side is touching the back pocket. Once the flap is centered, pin it in place. Starting in the front, sew all the way around, but leave an opening about 5 inches wide to turn the bag through. Reach through the opening and turn right sides out. There's a link below to a video of this in real time if you need it. Iron around the top, then top stitch all the way around once or twice to close the opening. Grab your strap and pen to the sides. Check out my tote bag playlist link below if you want tips for sewing your own strap. Sew a box, then an X through it to securely attach and you are finally done. I know this project has a ton of steps, but if you watch it a couple of times, I think you'll really understand it. And it is so awesome to carry a bag that you made yourself. And so uh, if you have any questions, make sure to leave them in the comments below and I will answer them as, uh, you know, as well as I can. And um, also subscribe and I'll be back soon with another video. Bye.